Welcome back, travelers. It's Slatter, and we are back. Oopsie. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Can I? There we go. Um. Yeah, we're back on Infinity Evolved, and today we've got some fun stuff planned. Okay. I had a very tragic experience. Uh, well, actually, two tragic experiences yesterday. So let me tell you about those real quick, because. Uh, well, as you can see, I got some flux floating around out here, as well as, hey, get inside, all up in this area right here. And then, I don't know, has it cleaned up? It's It's been a while now, so I still got some flux down there and a little bit right there, and you can see the water's kind of been disturbed by it. I was trying to move my nodes, right? Um, I had the one sitting right here, and I didn't like it sitting right here, so I was going to move it up into this area like so. Well, I turned off the node transduce, transducer thinking that, you know, hey, we'll take it out of that mode and then I'll destabilize it and then I'll be able to put it in node and jar and move them up here. Apparently that doesn't work. Think they're kind of, once they're in this state, they're going to stay in this state and that's all there is to it because it went kablooey and I mean flux for days. I mean, it was saturated down here, uh, all outside my door, like all of this was all flux. I mean, there was a pool of flux down here. Like it was, just, there was just so much. So note to self, do not, whatever you do, do not try to move nodes once you've, you know, put them in the transducer. I don't know if there's a safe way to do it. I don't know what it is. It was kind of crazy, but yeah. And then the other thing that then happened to me was while I was out trying to find new nodes. Oh, which by the way, let me show you these nodes. When I was out trying to find new nodes, I found myself a hungry node. And I know that you can basically feed them and make them into like these awesome, awesome nodes where instead of like, you know, one, three, four, and five, you can get upwards of like a hundred. So just fill things so, so quickly. And as I was put laying down obsidian and trying to get closer and closer and closer, I eventually got pulled into it and it killed me, but I had obsidian around it. And so some of my items were saved. Like I still have my hammer and my pick and I still had all my mana steel armor. However, I had to make a new set of boots of the traveler and a new lumber axe. And I don't remember if my sword's new or not, but yeah, I, oh, and then the big thing was all of my stuff in my knapsack was gone. I happened to have put my thomcraft stuff in one of these chests while I was doing something. And so I saved my thomcraft stuff, but, um, I lost all my Batania, all my witchery and all my, um, uh, blood magic stuff. So that was kind of sad day. So I got to go make those sigils again. So I don't have my air sigil anymore. I don't have my blood, uh, lava sigil, or I don't I haven't made a lava sigil, water sigil or so any of that. I don't have my sigil. So I got to go make some more, but that's okay. We're not concentrating on that today because today, Oh, let me show you this. Cool. So I, I have two nodes now. One has Terra Ignis. Um, I think it's Perdito. Yeah. And then Agua, Aqua, and then this one has Terra, Air, and Ordo. So I have all six elements here now, which is pretty cool. Oh, and then I also did this because I constantly get uh, floated away. I put these little pressure plates here. So anytime I walk by, it'll automatically turn off the levitator if I don't want to go up. And then I can just sit there for a second and go up if I want to. So cool, cool, cool. But anyways, I can't, they, they don't charge simultaneously. Like I can't get this one to charge and that one to charge. So what I did was if I'll fill up with these four, like fill up my wand, and then all I do is grab this little bad boy and switch this over and then it'll start pulling from this one and then it'll fill up that one. So I think that's a pretty cool little setup. I, I was just trying things out to see if it worked and it did. So it's cool. So I've got use of two more Viz Relays and then, yeah, so that's, that's that. But today, 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 I want to get going a little bit more on Batania because when we left off uh, uh, the other day on Batania, yesterday actually, I uh, had just finished doing my little setup to uh, get mana. And so I kind of expanded it. I did a second one. I'm, I I think I might be able to do another row. Because if these grab the coal from up there, then uh, if I do a floating row on top, they should too. And that'll just be mass production or whatever. But I started doing another one over here instead. So I could possibly do like eight more flowers on this one and then finish up this side because this is like barely half done. But so I don't waste the coal. I've got it set up with comparators. So if it fills up, the comparator will send out a signal back here, which will actually turn off the servo. And uh, that way it won't put out any more coal. And then that way I don't waste the coal that I'm making or not making, but putting in it. And that's going to lead to me probably maybe in the next episode doing some kind of small tree farm where I can automatically fill these chests with charcoal 
and uh, that way it'll be kind of an endless cycle and it'll be self-powering and stuff like that. So yeah, that's that. But today I want to do, I want to work on Batania and actually with the use of Agricraft because I found out that there are actually seeds. Oh, I see. I was already looking up the seed analyzer. Um, there are seeds for Batania, right? So like you've got a white mystical flower seed, which can be mutated from uh, a daisy seed and a white tulip seed. And I can get a white tulip seed from a daisy seed and a dandelion seed. And a dandelion seed can come from sugarcane seed and melon seed. And you can kind of see where this is going. Um, on sand, I can do a regular seed and a carrot seed, and it'll give me sugarcane. So what I've done is I've actually, I got inspired by what I saw in the village and did a little greenhouse over here. And we're going to start rocking this bad boy. But I want to finish getting it set up. I was in the middle of building it. And then I was like, you know what? It's it's built enough. I, I'm excited. I want to get this going. And so that's what we're going to do today. We are going to start by making a couple items um, for the agricast stuff so we can water our crops and whatnot. And let, let, us, let us get that going now. I have so much... So much I want to do in so little time. All right. So first I want a seed analyzer, which is this guy right here. And that guy's really, really super simple to make. So we've got the seed analyzer, right? And then I'm going to want some water barrels. Or I think this is it from Agricraft. Yeah. So I can make them any color I want. Ooh, that would be really pretty. I like that. Um, and I have plenty of silver wood. Yes, I do. So let's do that like so. I don't know why I just did that, but whatever. Okay, so there we go. So I'm gonna need, I'm gonna say a three by three, so I'm gonna need 27 of those water towers. Well, look at that, it kind of changed. That's, that's really unique. Okay, so you, so I'm gonna need 27 of these guys. Hopefully I made enough planks. I probably didn't. Yeah, I didn't. Okay. It's okay. So, let me just put you right here. But I think those would be really pretty like that. Alright, so, there we go. 64. That should be enough now. Like that, right? There we go. You can make at least 9. Oh, that's like perfect. So, pew. there we go. So, we got 27 of those. And then I'm going to need a couple pieces of fence. Like so... Um, I think four will be enough. I don't need it to be super tall or anything like that. And then I'm going to need to make these guys some wooden irrigation. So I'm going to need more of those logs. I don't know exactly how many I'm going to need of these, but we'll just make sure we have enough now. We will get this done. There we go. So I'm thinking that should be more than enough because I've got to go like six in the direction, six in that direction, seven, eight. So maybe 16, yeah, yeah, that'll be enough. That'll be enough. And maybe a few more fences, just, just because I might want it a little bit higher. So let's do this. There and there. Four, eight, 12. Yes, that'll work, three high, that'll do it. And then, oh, and I need a sprinkler. Actually, I'm gonna need two. All right, so I need two of you, like so, except we're gonna do this with the living wood. Uh, not living wood, um, silver wood. Oh, of course, I still don't have enough. Just do it this way. There we go. Put you there, and bingo, bango, we've got gotcha. you. All right, cool. Oh, I need three of those. All right, so I'm excited about this. Uh, I think it's some cool new stuff. Oh, I only needed two. Uh, we'll have an extra. All right, and so we're going to go set this by the way. But one thing I do want to do is make an aqueous accumulator. Um, this one has the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to need some copper gears. So one, two. And then I'm going to need a pneumatic servo. And um, do I have any glass? Do I have glass? I have glass. Okay, cool. I don't need colored glass. I just need a glass. Uh, machine frame. Um, I think I'll probably need to make the tin gear. There we go. Like so. 
All right, and a bucket. And then I can make this guy now. There we go. And some fluid ducts. Um, I don't know which one's cheaper, the this guy, the transfer node liquids. Can I, what am I missing? I'm missing a bucket and some pipes. Like, oh, I don't have any stone slabs. Let me make those real quick. You, I don't need a sorting pipe. I just need pipes. There we go. All right, so pipes. I just need regular pipes. There we go. And then now I can make this. Okay, cool. And then I'm actually going to need some of the pipes, but I think I just made some. How many of those, what are those called? Transfer pipes. Do I have enough? Um, oh, yes, that should be enough. Seven should be enough. And some water buckets. Um, oh, because they're all filled with lava. That's right. So let me just grab two of these and I'll make an infinite spring. And then we'll be good to go. And we'll be able to get the water set up. And then we can start working on some of the seed stuff. So I'm kind of excited about this because also it gives me a chance to make some food and not just be munching on baked potatoes all the time. Because let's be honest, baked potatoes are boring. And with all these other mods, why would we not want to like, you know, have like some of the best stuff possible? Okay, so we're going to be coming in right here. So I'm just going to make an infinite spring right here. I love the aqueous accumulator. It's so cheap and easy because you don't need anything basically i mean you know what i mean i don't know if that makes sense you don't need there we go fill that up there we go um no power or anything like that and so i can just put the aqueous accumulator there and then i can put this here and it's gonna be like that hey oh yeah boots of the traveler forgot about those there we go and break you real quick and then I can set up my fences um, actually my fences are gonna have to be like right here they're gonna float on water um, okay we're gonna do something weird here because I need it to look somewhat legit <laughs> that's just kind of me so it's only gonna be too high like that for right now I might go one more. I might go hot. Oh, shoot. One higher eventually. But I think too high will be plenty high enough. And then. Hey, come on. Come on. Don't be silly. These boots of the travelers do make it kind of challenging to jump. Okay. There we go. So apparently this is a multi block structure. Um. Oh, see, it's already like connecting. That's that's kind of cool. Except I don't need you anymore. And this should create like a big basin down here. Yeah, there it goes. So I I'm I'm doing it right, which is a good thing. I don't always do things right. All right, cool. And so this is a big water basin, and it's slowly going to fill up thanks to the aqueous accumulator down here. Now. I'm going to pipe in my water like this. Uh, my middle block is right here. Like that. Cool. And pipe this over here. As you can see, I haven't finished over here. Um, yep, right there. And do the same on this side. And I'm just hoping this works right now. <laughs> It seems like every time I try to do something, no, nothing ever quite works the way I intend, but I've got high hopes that it will. All right, and then all I do is pop that on there, and that sprinkler will start working, and that sprinkler will start working. And then this is going to be the needed water crops, and then over on these edges, I've planned on putting my botania flowers. So we'll see how that goes. You have water, right? You've got 55,200. Yeah, so you're going up. Maybe if there's no crops to water, then it won't water. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and for right now, I put a little alcove over here because I thought it was kind of cool. Like, you know, it's like my little side station over here. 
So I'm going to go grab some seeds. I should have grabbed those when I was uh, back here. And we're going to try to do some cross mutations and see if we can get um, some plants growing and see if we can get some uh, botania flowers. So let's see. Seeds. Okay, I've got carrot seeds, which is good. I've got potato seeds, which is good. Um, I need regular seeds. I don't have any regular seeds, really. Uh, let's see. I've got plenty of places to go get seeds, like right down here. So I'm gonna go break up some grass. I hate breaking up the grass because I end up, there's one. Because I end up coming back and like re-fertilizing the area because I don't like it being, you know, totally barren looking. It just, it looks kind of plain and doesn't look right. Like it shouldn't be completely barren. And that, that, that doesn't make sense. All right, and then what is some, oh, I'm gonna need clippers. These guys right here, which should be pretty easy. Yeah, I've already got the shears in there, cool. And, oh, and I'm gonna need the sticks. Uh, at agri, it's not a lot. Here we go. You right there. All right, so there's, we'll make a whole bunch. All right, cool. So I've got all the basic seeds. Oh, you know what? Let me grab my watering can too. That might just help speed up the process a little bit uh, when we're first starting. And I don't need you anymore. Okay, cool. Let's do this. I'm, I'm excited about this because if I can start making botania flowers without the floral fertilizer, then I'll have an unlimited amount of flowers and that will be really, really cool. And uh, then maybe putting like a farmer in here or a for farmer, whatever they're, whatever they're called, I don't know. Um, so let's go ahead and analyze these seeds and let's analyze these seeds and let's analyze these seeds. So apparently they all start off one, one, ones, and the goal is to get them all to 10, 10, tens, right? But I'm gonna start focusing on the Batania flowers first. So I need to look up, I believe it's the white, uh, this one first. And that is made from daisy seeds and tulip seeds. So let's go with tulip seeds first. Tulip seeds is made from daisy and dandelion, and dandelion is made from melon and sugarcane. Melon is made from pumpkin and carrots, and pumpkin is made from carrots and potatoes. So carrots and potatoes, okay. So, oh, I don't have, let me just grab a piece of wood real quick. Um, I don't wanna chop an entire tree down for this, but I might need more wood, so. I just need to make myself a real quick uh, hoe. I don't have a hoe. So let's come over here because I have a crafting table. There we go. And, oh, I still have one floating. Okay. Um, there. And, Jesus. There. Okay. Got the hoe. So we can go ahead and turn this into farmland and we can get this started. All right. So bink, bink, bink. And what I need to do, it was potato and carrot first. So I wanna put you there. Wait, why aren't you? Oh, I didn't put the sticks down. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So you there and you there. You guys go like that. And then I can just move this for right now. And water up this area. And then once these are grown, I can take clippings and Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Then I need to go bink, bink like this. Um, hey. Hey. Okay. There we go. And then I can take you, right? Oh, wait. I don't want you to do that. And where's my new seed? Where's my new seed? Potato seed unidentified. Okay, so I didn't get a change there. Wait, did I put potato on both sides? I did, darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay, carrot seeds there. There we go. And then I get them both to grow all the way up. Oh, I just realized the sprinklers are working. That's awesome. Okay, come on. Grow, 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 grow. 
Okay, so the carrots are done and the potatoes are done. Okay, cool. Now I put this here and aha, there you are. All right, cool. And now I have, wait, I got more carrot seeds. Okay, so maybe mutations don't happen every time. Because I thought that was going to give me pumpkin seeds. Carrot seeds again. That mutation said pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds can be made by mutating carrot seeds and potato seeds. Okay, so maybe the mutation doesn't happen every time. I don't know. And now I've got freaking poppies growing. Oh, you go like that. Did we get them that time? Still carrot seeds. Okay, hold on. Let's try to get some 10 by 10s then, and let's see if that works. Okay, so what level are you now? You're still just 1 1 1s. So you're the same. And these potato seeds are the same. What's going on here? You're all one by ones. What, 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 what's going on? Hold on, I'm gonna do a little research and I'll find out what's going on and we'll be right back. All right, well, after reading everything I was reading, it looks like I'm doing it right and it, it's, I guess it's just a chance. I did take the time to, um, in the, in the meantime or whatever, I started uh, increasing my potatoes, so now they're six, six, and five. But let's get our carrots back down here again. And let's get them full grown, and uh, maybe it's just a matter of chance. Hopefully it'll happen sometime soon. I don't know. I really, really don't know. But it def definitely says potato and carrots. Um, uh, where is it at? Pumpkin seeds. It is definitely potato seeds and carrot seeds will give me pumpkin seeds on farmland or hummus. And then you can also do that or whatever and, you know, infuse them in that stuff or whatever. So let's, let's hope for the best right here. That's all I can do is hope for the best. Still potato seeds. <sighs> Come on. Carrot. Okay. So at least we know the mutation is possible because, well, we've already mutated one. Melon seeds! All right, we got them. Bingo, bingo, we've got them. So I'm going to continue going until I get my uh, first botania flower, because this is just going to get really repetitious. And then once I get the botania flowers, we'll kind of get this all set up and see how it looks. So we'll be right back. All right, guys. So we got all time, but we got all of our flowers. And I just want to kind of show you now we are trying to get these upgraded to like, you know, the, the max speed and max yield and stuff like that. And I'm pretty close on these two. So I figured this would be a good time to start, you know, kind of popping back in and seeing what's going on. So I got these up last time I checked, they were 10, 10, eight. And so hopefully this will switch them to 10, 10, nine. And that'll make a little more sense in just a second where I put the seed in here and take a little reading here. And now I'm at 10, 10, 8. Okay, so my strength did not go up that time. So maybe it doesn't go up every time? I'm not sure. Yeah, because the seeds are exactly the same. So let's do them like this. And hopefully we can get these guys up to 10, 10, 10s. They grow pretty quickly now. And they uh, they yield four petals per flower, which is nice. Um, unlike two, which you normally get. So that's uh, definitely a bonus, which is kind of the point. Everything yields like four, like four carrots, four potatoes, four, four everything, basically. And so hopefully this seed right here will now be upgraded. That's a 10, 10, 8. This is identified. And so hopefully this goes to 10, 10, 9. Nope, still a 10, 10, 8. So I'm not 100% sure if these can go to the next level. But I'm going to try a couple more times just, you know, I've tried, I've been at 10, 10, 8 for, you know, two or three rotations now. So I don't know if they can go any higher. Ha, ah, 10, 10, 9. Okay, cool. So we're getting closer. So let me get rid of the 10, 10, 8s. I just been throwing the, the excess away because, you know, my inventory would be insanely full right now if I uh, didn't. 
So, anyways, if you, I, if I, I'm not sure if I showed this earlier, but basically, all I'm doing is uh, watering. Wait till they grow a little bit. I uh, take a little clipping here, and then I plant the clipping over here. Now it doesn't always work on one, but once these flowers started getting stronger, it seemed to work on just one clipping. Sometimes I would use seven or eight, and it still wouldn't. So I guess that's a total. Uh, toss up on the weaker flowers, but as they start getting stronger, they definitely uh, have been going on just one clipping and uh, planting that. So I guess that's the way you kind of multiply your uh, seeds off the very, very get go. But hopefully this goes to 10, 10, 10. This would be awesome if it did. Then I would be done with one flower <laughs> and then I would have 15 more to go. 10, 10, 10. Okay, cool. So now I can start planting over here and I'm going to do like four of each to start just because two, three, four, just because of the way I designed it, there's 47 spots. So, uh, 16 at 47 spots, uh, it's almost four each. So, all right. And then these two will pop up a little bit. And I'll be able to do this and this. There we go. And now we've got our four blue flowers. And they're under the watering system, so this should be good. But I will say that, you know, just doing agriculture today isn't quite enough. And I found out that there is something else I can do to my boots of the traveler. We can upgrade them a little bit more. And so right now, that's what we're gonna go take a look at. I'm pretty sure I can get it all done. And if not, I, I might just get like the Essentia made off camera and then we'll come back and do the infusion and get the new boots. I don't want to tell you guys about the new boots until we get them done. All right, guys, so I got back and I just finished up the research for Boots of the Comet, which is the one we want to do. And basically I need the Frost Wand Focus, which I think I have on my other wand. A Water Crystal Cluster, which is easier. Three snow blocks, which I already started making and then realized I wasn't recording. And then we're going to need Aqua, Jellum, Eider, and Modus. Now, Aqua, I know I can get from boats. Uh, Jellum can come from snow and snowballs. Eider comes from, I think I can get that from boats too. And then Modus, I think I can do trapdoors. So let me, I know I got to pull out my meter because I haven't made a boat yet. So let us see if I... Come on, can do this real quick. Uh, boats like that, right? Yeah, okay. And let's do this. Okay, that has eider and water. Ooh, four each, nice. Okay, so let's make as many of those as we can. All right, and I'm gonna start those smelting up real quick. And hey, you go in there. So you start cooking up. I can't put a bigger stack in. Okay, and trap doors, I believe I can get modus. Um, oh, I haven't done these either. Okay, that one has modus and arbor. Okay, cool. So let's make up a couple trap doors. Like, uh, no, it's like this. Uh, like that, yes. All right, so let's just make a whole stack of those. I'm not gonna need the whole stack, but you know, whatever. And then snow, actually yeah, I have the snowballs from the snowbell seed. So there's the three for the actual thing. And then, yep, that has one jellum. Those have three jellum. It makes more sense to do the 16, but I need, how much jellum do I need? I think I need 25, 25 jellum. Okay, so I need to go uh, get some more snowballs. So I'm going to go do that back at the farm because I have snowball seeds and I can do that relatively quick, quickly with the watering can and then we'll have everything we need and we can get boots of the comet and we're going to see how awesome. I mean, I love my boots of the traveler, but if there's something that make my awesome boots even better, oh, you knows we all about that. So we're going to go and do this real quick and get some, uh, snowball seeds right there and get some snow balls as fast as possible. So we will be right back. 
All right, Travelers, so we are back and we have Travelers, Boots of the Traveler. I t and you know, it's funny, it never even dawned on me on that one. I didn't pick up on that. But anyways, uh, I finished the research for Boots of the Comet and basically, it's pretty, pretty simple. I just needed three snowballs, which I've already made. Um, I need to make a Wand of the Focus and then a Water Cluster. And I believe, I do, I should be able to make this guy right there. And... I believe I already have the snow blocks. I do. One, two, three there. And then the wand of the focus, if I remember correctly, I looked at this really briefly. It is four. I think it's, no, it's one diamond. And then it's quartz. Where's my quartz? There it is. One, two, three, four. And it's the aqua um, shard, the one I just had. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Okay, and, oh, I can just do it right here. And one, two, three, four, like that. And then you go around and diamond. Yes, oh, my wand, uh, wand, 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 wand. There we go, okay, we got the focus. Okay, let me grab that back. Whoa, oh, do you make anything? No, that'd be kind of cool if that just randomly made another focus. But one, two, three, four, five of those. Got my wand. And then now I just have to get the a proper essentia, which I, I think I'm done making it all. Uh, it's 25 of each. So we got 25 jellum and 25 aqua, 25 modus, and 25 eider. Sweet. Okay, I'm excited for these new boots because, well, I mean, we already have some awesome boots and now they're gonna be more awesome. And I don't know if I've been up here since I did this, but Tinker's Contract has some awesome looking glass. It's the same glass that I used in the, uh, the what's it called over there? You know, that thing that we just made? Um, oh, what is that stupid thing called? The freaking farm place thing. What are those things called? Greenhouse. Yeah, that's, that's the word. Greenhouse. All right, cool, cool, cool. And so we put this in there and then... I need to grab my Sentias down here. Pew, pew, pew. We'll just put them back here in this row over here. And I hope I did everything correctly because getting new stuff is always fun. Okay, the Essentia's going, so that's a good sign. Now, like I said, this thing is kind of big, and so there is a, a downside if any of these things fall off. And was this one like, what was the level of you know, instability, moderate instability. Okay. Think we're okay. We've done moderates before and didn't have any issues. Everything's still on the pedestals. All the Essentia looks like it's going just fine. There goes the Eider. Oh, oh, something fell off over here. Get on there. Get on there. There we go. I saw the spark, which is good. I mean, not good, but it's a good sign that uh, I can see when stuff pops off. Okay, the cluster's going. The snow's falling off going. The other one's going. You're going. One focus. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we got him. We got him. Check these out. Oh, I can jump higher and now even faster. But not only that, um, I kind of want to jump and find out if I take fall damage. But you'll see what I mean when I say I want to jump and see if I take fall damage. Oh, these are awesome. Uh, let's go down. All right, let's just put all you guys back here real quick. You're empty. I'm putting down an empty jar. That's useful, right? Check this. Check this. This is what I've been... When I'm out running around trying to find nodes like over the water and stuff like that, it's a bit of a hassle. Check it. Check it. Oh, and look how freaking fast I am. Oh, these things are killer. Mobs will never be an issue again. And then the ice melts like pretty quickly, which is awesome. The thing I wanted to test was a height test. If I jump onto the water, do I take fall damage because the water becomes ice? That's, that is the question here. So let's see. Let's jump over some water. No! 
Oh, that's so funny. Look at it's under. <laughs> it's under because I'm on a different layer. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. That is like the fastest getaway ever. Okay, guys, you, 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 you got to give a like for this. You got to give a like for this. This is freaking amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I'm killing off all my freaking sugar cane over here because all this is freezing, but I'm okay with that. That's okay by me. And the only problem is it's really, really slick and slippery. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this is, you know, stuff you've been wanting to see and you're enjoying watching because I'm definitely enjoying doing it and I've been having so much fun because anytime I get to try new mods, I'm all about it. And anytime I have a fun mod pack, I'm all about it. So this has just been a blast, an absolute blast. Oh, don't freeze my water. Um, yeah, this is oh so much fun. But anyways, until next time, guys, I am Slider Havoc. This is Infinity Evolved, and we are out of here. Peace.